Have you ever felt drained in a relationship but couldn't understand why? If this sounds familiar, you may be an empath caught in the magnetic pull of a narcissist. There's a certain dynamic at play here, an alluring yet destructive dance that's as captivating as it is confusing. In one corner we have empaths. These are individuals with a deep capacity for compassion, an innate understanding of others' emotions. They can feel what others are feeling and often they take on those emotions as their own. Empaths are caring, kind and sensitive, always ready to lend a listening ear or a comforting word. In the other corner we find narcissists. These individuals exude charm, confidence and charisma. They're often the life of the party, the center of attention, the ones who can captivate a room with their tales and magnetism. Narcissists have a heightened sense of self-importance and a deep-seated need for admiration. The initial attraction between these two can be incredibly strong. Empaths, with their open hearts and understanding nature, are drawn to the narcissist's charm and confidence. They see someone who needs their care, their love, their validation. A narcissist, they see a never-ending supply of that validation in empaths. They see someone who will listen to their stories, laugh at their jokes and admire their accomplishments. But here's the catch. Beneath this captivating facade, beneath the allure, the charm and the magnetism, often lies a deeper incompatibility. An incompatibility that can lead to one party feeling drained, manipulated and emotionally exhausted. And that party is usually the empath. On the surface, the empath and the narcissist may seem like a perfect match, but beneath the surface, beneath the smiles and the laughter, the stories and the shared moments, there's a dynamic at play that can be harmful, a dynamic that can lead to emotional manipulation, to one party constantly giving and the other constantly taking. But beneath this captivating facade often lies a deeper incompatibility that can lead to emotional manipulation. This is the magnetic attraction between empaths and narcissists, a dance that's as fascinating as it is fraught with potential pitfalls. Narcissists employ a variety of tactics to exploit the empath's compassion. To understand this dynamic, let's dive into some of these tactics. One of the most potent strategies is love bombing. In this stage, narcissists drench their victims in affection, attention and praise. They create an intense emotional bond that can feel intoxicating to the empath, making it challenging to notice any warning signs that might be flashing. Think of this as a whirlwind romance, where the narcissist appears to be everything the empath has ever dreamed of, but it's a dream that can quickly turn into a nightmare. Then comes gaslighting, a manipulative tactic where narcissists distort reality, making the empath question their perception of events. They may deny their actions, blame the empath for their shortcomings, or even make the empath second-guess their own sanity. Picture a scenario where a narcissist denies saying something hurtful, insisting it never happened, and the empath starts doubting their own memory. It's a psychological maze that can lead to confusion, self-doubt, and a diminished self-esteem. Next is emotional blackmail. Narcissists may threaten to withdraw their love or affection if the empath does not comply with their demands. They may guilt trip the empath into feeling responsible for their own happiness or unhappiness. Imagine being told, if you don't do this for me, you don't love me. This tactic can instill a sense of obligation and fear in the empath, making them more susceptible to manipulation. Finally, there's projection. Narcissists often project their negative qualities onto the empath. They may accuse the empath of being selfish, manipulative or uncaring, all while deflecting any criticism or accountability for their own behavior. It's like a mirror held up by the narcissist, only it reflects their own flaws onto the empath. Over time, these tactics can erode the empath's self-esteem, boundaries and emotional well-being. They may feel increasingly anxious, depressed and isolated as the narcissist continues to drain their emotional energy. Recognizing these tactics is the first step towards breaking free from the narcissist's grip. It's a journey. But remember, you're not alone. There's always help and support available. The empath often bears the brunt of the narcissist's manipulation. The emotional and psychological impact on empaths is profound, often leading to anxiety, depression and a sense of isolation. Let's delve into some real-life instances to better understand these effects. Consider the story of Emily, an empath who was in a relationship with a narcissist. Emily's partner would often use gaslighting tactics, making her question her own memory and sanity. 
Over time, Emily began to feel anxious and unsure of herself. She started doubting her own judgment and felt a constant state of unease. Then we have the case of Daniel, another empath caught in the web of a narcissist. Daniel's partner was a master of emotional blackmail, often threatening to withdraw love if Daniel did not comply with her demands. This left Daniel feeling guilty, obligated, and constantly walking on eggshells. He sank into a deep depression, feeling trapped and powerless. There's also the story of Ava, who was subjected to the narcissist's projection. Ava's partner would accuse her of the very things he was guilty of, being selfish, manipulative, and uncaring. This led Ava to feel isolated, misunderstood and vilified, causing her to withdraw from her social circle. In each of these instances, the empath ended up drained of their emotional energy and resources, often feeling trapped and powerless. The impact on their mental health was profound, but remember, recognizing these signs is the first step towards breaking free from the toxic hold of a narcissist. The empath, drained of their emotional energy and resources, often feels trapped and powerless. It's crucial for empaths to recognize the signs of narcissistic manipulation. But recognition is just the first step. What comes next is setting boundaries. You see, boundaries are like invisible lines that separate you from others, defining what is you and what is not you. They protect your sense of self, your emotional integrity. Learning to set boundaries might involve saying no when you need to, or expressing your feelings honestly and directly. It might mean distancing yourself from people who disrespect or hurt you. And remember, enforcing boundaries isn't about being selfish, it's about self-preservation. Next, seek support. This could be from trusted friends or family members who understand your situation, or consider reaching out to a mental health professional. A therapist or counselor can provide valuable insights, strategies and tools to navigate the complexities of your relationship with a narcissist. And then there's self-care. It's not just about bubble baths and chocolate, though those can be nice. It's about taking time to replenish your emotional energy. It's about honoring your needs and feelings. It's about practicing self-love, remembering that you are deserving of respect, kindness and love. Finally, patience is key. Recovery doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, one that may have its fair share of bumps and twists. But with each step forward, you are reclaiming your emotional well-being, your sense of self. Remember, you are not alone. There is help available and it is possible to reclaim your emotional well-being.